Hello everyone, this is day three of Love Yourself Up. Hey friends. This is Cole. This is. I'm Carolina. <laughs> and today we're talking about freedom. Ow, ow! Freedom. I've been shouting freedom since I was, <laughs> just right when I came out. Came out <laughs> freedom! <laughs> freedom. And it's so interesting for me because freedom, I've always wind up, finding myself enslaved by things. So mm. it's really this, uh, this paradox for me. Um, enslaved, feeling enslaved in relationships or in addictions. Behaviors. Behaviors uh, from my schedule, slave to my schedule or to Old my patterns. mind. Anxiety, just on and on and on. When it really, I'm, you know, I'm seeking this, I'm seeking this, um, this ease. So mm. it's quite it's quite interesting my journey with freedom. Yeah, yeah, I relate a lot to that too. Um, in my personal case, it's also around addictions um, and yeah, like really deeply ingrained behavioral uh, patterns that I realize that yeah they're addictive as well, mm -hmm. and they just restrict my freedom. It's, it's not conducive to the type of life that I want to live. Mm -hmm. So we're just talking about that, that in order to live a life of freedom, really embody freedom, we need to get super clear on the values that we want to be um, embracing and living every day mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, why and are yours? Freedom, one thing that, one mistake that I've made for a long time is freedom I thought was doing whatever I wanted, oh, gosh. whenever I wanted. That didn't go very well. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I mean, it all led me here. Da da da. da. But um, yeah, so it's not necessarily it's not necessarily doing whatever it is that we want, but it is getting clear on what we want. What and what is what is healthy for us? What is mm. productive? How do we optimize? Like, I want to live a I want to live my life in a way where um, my values are optimized. My um, my experience, like my experience here, is optimized. So it's more. Um, there is a framework, like there is a framework around it. So that's kind of where we'll get to. But first talking about the values, like what does freedom look like to you? And another way that we can reframe this is what are your values? So a lot of them, you know, will be, will be similar maybe between us, but we definitely have different values. Like I really, really value, um, my mental clarity when my mind mm. is clear, when I'm not ruminating, when I don't have a lot of anxiety, um, when I'm just like free to be like this, that feeling of freedom. I also really value freedom of my schedule, like being able to set mm -hmm. my own schedule to move yeah. around the world. As, you know, a big value of mine is travel and um, exploration in that way. So those things, like I want to protect them. Mm. So we'll get to the, the boundary section in a moment. But for me, I'll, I'll use those as an example. What about for you? For me, um, my highest value right now, because I feel like as humans, those changes mm -hmm. as we go through life um, is truth, authenticity. I want to live a life where I give myself permission to be who I want to be mm -hmm. and show up in the world the way I want to show up in the world, not how my parents told me, society tells me to do, um, a partner or my friends or any pressure that comes from outside. For me, it's my biggest value to be like, no, I'm sorry, I'm not doing this, I'm doing myself. So truth. And really getting to know yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So my values, true and truth and authenticity is super, super important. It's like priority. What else? Um, yeah, emotional and mental. <laughs> mental, my head is here. Emotional and mental um, well-being, inner peace. Not having to live a life where there's anxiety or stress or emotional triggers all the time. Like, no, like I want to live a life where I'm... Yeah, mm -hmm. emotionally stable, um, mentally with inner peace and within every time. Yeah, and I think that most of us can probably relate to emotional slavery. Yeah, um, yeah the anxiety, the stress, depression, and it really it rips away our presence. So freedom oh, gotcha. really means it gets, you know freedom is really presence as well mm -hmm. to be able to be wherever you are to fully ex uh, show yourself in the moment as you are. And as that changes, um, yeah. Yeah. So the important um, element for day three in order to really embrace freedom or to explore freedom in this little challenge that we're 
offering to you and for us, to each other actually, um, is to get super clear, maybe have a little um, moment by yourself and get clear on what are your values. What is the type of life that you want to live? Like if you, we can talk about freedom, my life, ideal life, it will be like this, like that. But if we don't sit and get clear on what we really want on like the tangible stuff, um, yeah, it's really hard to actually go get it. So <laughs> that's why it's important to like sit down and maybe write the values. What are the most important values for you in your life? What do you want? What values you um, want to embody every day and invite every day in your life? Once that's clear, we are gonna go to the step of boundaries, mm -hmm. because when we have clear that for her, um, mental clarity. What was the other one? Um, f um, availability or flexibility around your schedule. Freedom, being able to yeah move around the world. Move around the world, financial freedom probably. Yeah. Once you have that clear, you are also gonna discover that you're gonna need um, boundaries. And I know that boundaries is a word that triggers a lot of us because it has this connotation, <laughs> this connotation that is something negative, that is pushing away something or someone. But actually what it does, it's ensuring that what you want, it's fulfilled. It's, yeah. uh, it happens, it uh, comes to fruition, I don't know how to put it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if I want a life where my inner peace is one of my highest values, I'm probably gonna be more proactive and not engaging in, I don't know, toxic interactions or be more aware of not co-creating toxic dynamics. If I want to live a life of truth, I'm going to have to be super aware and proactive again to, yeah, every time that I catch myself dimming my life, my light, or like, I don't know, trying to appear as something, like editing myself or censoring myself, I'm going to have to be like, hey, no, that's not your value. Go back to yourself. And if that means that there's someone around me, I don't know, like a coworker, a family member that is like, why are you wearing that? Or why are you dancing like that? Or like, hey, you shouldn't be living in Bali. Or whatever it is, I'm going to be, sorry, this is my boundary. I don't like to talk about this. This is my truth, and I'm going to live with that. Like, that's a very simple, basic exercise. I mean, example. But yeah, like, what will be the boundaries for you in order to? Um, okay, so for me, in terms of like anxiety and stress, it would be, you know, also staying away from um, stressful. I mean, stress is going to happen, just yeah. for one. Let's just say that. Stress is going to happen. But where is there undue stress? Like, when what relationships, you know, really checking in on my relationships, my friendships, uh, love relationships. Like, is this causing me, you know, more suffering than it is? So being really aware of those dynamics. Yeah. Um, in terms of kind of freedom of schedule and how I curate uh, my life, it would be... You know, that, so it's really important for me that I work for myself. Mm -hmm. Or maybe that you have a team that supports you in this. And if you yeah. have like an employee that is not supporting and fulfilling your needs, you're going to have to be like, hey, this doesn't work. I need to be flexible to uh, call you at, I don't know, like at 3 p.m. and give you this task and you fulfill it. You know, yeah. like little things like that. Or if you're talking about anxiety, maybe you need to put the boundary of like, hey, I'm not co having coffee. Like, because coffee like gives right. me the jitters, you know, <laughs> like whatever it is. Yeah. Or maybe it's a boundary in terms of, uh, you know, non-negotiables is another way to look at this. Of mm -hmm. like, if I want to be mentally clear during my day, the way that I'm optimized is if I have eight hours of sleep yeah, or nine hours important. of sleep, whatever it is that you need. Or I need to eat well so that I feel well. Mm -hmm. So it's all these, just these little things that like, I need to do this so I can do this. Yes. I need, I set a boundary here so that I am able to feel good here, like have to be more free to hear. If you had a peanut allergy, then you would need to have a boundary that you didn't have peanuts so that the repercussion didn't happen. Like you mm -hmm. know that that would take away, that would take away your freedom to just be enjoying your day. And um, I had a, an allergic shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah like I don't want to have anaphylactic shock. <laughs> so that's kind of a drastic, but even in the nuance, so we get to know ourselves in this nuanced way of like, okay, I actually do better when I sleep a little bit longer. I do better mm. when I wake up naturally rather than the alarm clock, or I do better when I... So this is just more about creating a relationship with ourselves, knowing what works, knowing what doesn't. Do you have caffeine? Do you not have caffeine? Enough water. Maybe you drink wine at night. Maybe you decide mm. that's not good for you, or whatever it is, we just begin to create these, uh, these non-negotiables for how we can optimize our life. So some of them we create with ourselves, and some of them that we create with those around us. And that's super important because I feel many times um, we sort of 
feel like fall victims of um, our surroundings. We tend to go there, like, mm -hmm. oh, um, I don't know, like I cannot live with my truth or I cannot like live the life that I want because my mom is telling me this, because my dad is like criticizing me like that, because my partner is never like supporting me in this. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, it's, I mean, not sometimes, actually always, it's all an act of self-responsibility to go like, I'm sorry, this is my boundary. This is my non-negotiable. Yeah. We're not gonna talk about this topic this way, or I need you to give me feedback this specific way. So that's gonna be a boundary. If we're gonna talk about this topic that triggers me or like whatever, we, this is gonna be the container, you know, mm -hmm. that's a boundary. Or I don't, want your, I don't want your feedback around this, you know, like simple stuff that we're not used to do because mm -hmm. we feel like it's impolite or um, like too much. We tend to always say, as, especially as women, I feel like, oh, we're asking too much. Mm -hmm. but, but actually, in order for us to live the life that we want, once we get clear on what we want, we need to really l uh, create these boundaries, these non-negotiables. Mm -hmm. So um, what's another example around that? I feel it happens so much, at least with my clients and friends, that um, people feel frustrated or like, I cannot be who I want to be. I cannot live the life that I want because... I think it goes... My boss, because... To my the boyfriend. fact of not wanting to... Well, for one, normally we won't ask. That's the thing, yeah. It's like this... this um, this fear of not being accepted or fear of not being, uh, of being judged yeah. if we truly ask for what it is we want. So that goes back to like, what are my values? What is it that I want? Mm -hmm. And then creating something, creating um, ways to interact with yourself and with the world to be sure that you have a better chance at achieving yeah. what it is that you're desiring. Totally. And one thing I want to mention that it's one thing to ask, be clear to ask for what you want. But then also knowing that, you know, other people get to accept oh, or of course, that's not vital. accept. So it doesn't yeah. mean it's like, look, this is what I want. And you have to give it to me. <laughs> you know, that seems like it might be nice sometimes, but ego would be out of control. <laughs> Being clear, asking for what you want. Sometimes maybe, you know, sometimes maybe it's a no. Maybe you're conflicting with somebody else's boundary, but then there is, you know, there's a conversation. Exactly. But you never have a chance if you don't ask. Mm -hmm. So I say this often, um, especially in terms of work and or different things that I'm asking for, that I would be nervous around asking. And, you know, somebody told me once, and I use this a lot, all they can say is no. Yeah. All they can say is no. So I've, I've heard there was this one guy, I can't remember who it was, that he was doing a practice of going around and asking people things that people were going to say oh, no to. Oh, he was exercising the rejection muscle. He was so terrified of being rejected. So he's like, okay, I'm going to ask random crazy stuff to people so they say no and then get to like go through that experience. Yeah, to get yeah. used to hearing no. It's like, it's okay. Yeah, you're not going to die. <laughs> and if you get used to, you know, if you get used to hearing no, which is like such a, oh, mm -hmm. a hard thing, um, that it's easier to begin to then ask for what you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So going back, um, I'm wrapping up a little bit day three, freedom. Um, yeah. Let's have a moment. Let's see it. Get clear on what we want. What are our main values for our lives? Mm -hmm. um, maybe write like, I don't know, four, five, mm -hmm. ten if you want. And yeah, let's reflect a little bit on what boundaries we need to create, what non-negotiables we need to really embrace in our lives and make sure that we have them clear with the people that we love and mostly with ourselves. Um, so yeah, we can ensure that we live our values every day. Mm -hmm. So we are going to the point B that when we mentioned on day one on acceptance, we're standing starting on day um, point A, and we want to go to point B, right? Mm -hmm. Like we ensure that we get to that point through like living our values every day. What she said. Yes, so My sure. Favorite. <laughs> this is never gonna end now, this thing. I know. This move. <laughs> um, so share all or a few or something that feels really potent to you around um, a boundary or your non-negotiables mm. and yeah let's it feels really good to like assert them like to say them like I do declare oh I yeah I love that you. you can even do that say your full name first middle and last name wait I <laughs> Cole and Chance <laughs> now declare that I cannot um that I will not accept um mm, I'm loving this I will not accept disrespectful relationships, disrespectful interactions. <laughs> I love this. Okay, I'm going to go to you. Um, this is going to be hilarious. Full name. Because, <laughs> thank 
Wait for it. <laughs> I, Carol, Alejandra, Araya, Zavala. <laughs> That's my full name. Oh my. <laughs> uh, I declare today that I'm gonna, yeah, my boundaries with myself this time. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna let myself um, stray off my path. The next four weeks are gonna be all about like, business development so my boundaries like distractions like i'm not gonna go into details but i'm not gonna allow the distractions to really take um the most the best mm -hmm. of me so that's my boundary with myself and oh wait a very good example of boundaries like every time i struggle here a little bit because i live in bali i live in ubud where i know everyone and there's a lot of like social activities and invitations and waterfall trips and mm. parties and stuff so I get like heaps of invitations to do really fun, beautiful, nourishing stuff every day with people that I, I really love. So a boundary for me is going to have to be like, thank you, no, I'm working today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's hard because I know people are going to be like, but come on, it's my birthday. But come on, I'm leaving the island tomorrow. And I'm going to be like, nope, yeah. I'm heading back to work. You know, that's, that's my boundary. And I'm uh, announcing it publicly. Yes. <laughs> That's a really big one. When do you say yes? When you mean no? Yeah. Yeah. So many, we could go on and on and on about this, but um, I think you have enough, enough juice to work with. Yeah, inspiration. Let us uh, know in the comments. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to hear your reflections and share it with everyone so we can inspire each other and hold each other accountable. Indeed. Again, non-negotiables probably is stuck with yourself. Boundaries, maybe with distinction more with other people. I love that. Yeah? Yeah. Framework for freedom. All right, love yourself up. Yeah. <laughs> I love that.